Halloween is right around the corner and some cities are already starting their trick or treating tonight. Before you send your kids out to fill up their candy buckets, there are some things that you might want to keep in mind. 10 News reporter Riley Phillips joins us from Tip City where the Halloween fun is about to get underway. In about a half an hour, kids here in Tip City will get to start trick-or-treating around the community. And while this night is a lot of fun, it's also important to talk to your kids about safety. It's a big night to be out in the community with kids dressing up as their favorite characters, hoping to get more treats than tricks. But law enforcement officers are urging parents to take precautions. One of the biggest injuries they see on Halloween is people getting hit by cars. To the motorists out there to be on the lookout for anybody crossing the street, uh, drive slowly and carefully. Um, for the parents to make sure that their kids don't go running out into the traffic because you may not see that car coming. They recommend kids walk around with a responsible adult or teen and wear something reflective. While finding razor blades or drugs and candy is not common, officers still urge parents to check their kids' candy just in case. There's a, a few instances isolated um, here and there, but just to make sure you check the candy. If you got an open wrapper, you can just throw that away. Um, if you got things that are not prepackaged from a, from a factory, um, you know, be, be careful with those unless you know they came from a neighbor that you trust. This year, parents also need to be aware of viruses lurking around. The Miami Valley is seeing an increase in flu and RSV cases. Some counties are also seeing a rise in COVID-19, including Greene County. We can tell from what we're seeing throughout the country and some of the increases in the talk of that triple threat with RSV, flu, and COVID-19, all of those things together, all respiratory illnesses, those things together are just giving us a, a run for our money. If you or your child starts to feel bad after all the Halloween festivities, they're offering test to treat kits where you can walk through your test results and potentially get treatment from a medical professional. If you qualify, if it's a positive result and you qualify, you may be able to get the oral medication and the treatment. Um, that's why it's called a test to treat. Um, so they can get that treatment. And those tests to treat kits are free. To find out more information on how to get one, just go to WDTN.com and click on the As Seen on 2 News tab. Trick-or-treating starts here at 6 in Tip City. In Tip City, Riley Phillips, 5 on 2.